Hi guys, it's Amy with Into Plan, and I am here with my October subscription box for Jane's Agenda. I am super excited about getting into this box. It has been a while since I've gotten a subscription box from Jane's Agenda, but I decided to restart my subscription just because we are moving into the holiday season. I love October, I love November, I love December. I wanted all the things. Um, I'm going to try to maybe incorporate some of it into my holiday planner, but I also just really want these supplies on hand for future years. So I'm excited to see what is in here. So I haven't even opened it yet, it just, Landed on my doorstep last night, um, like actually really late at night. I got home really late. Um, and so this is the first chance I've had to even open it. And so here we go. Ta-da! All right, it says, hello. I love that. The boxes are always so super cute. And the card says October 2022. You can see that. Um, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a sneak peek at the, the theme. Um, and so I already just love it because of the kind of moody, darker color. And there are pumpkins. I love it. Okay. So I'm gonna take it all out like this. I'll set this to the side. On the back, it gives you like a rundown of all the things that are in the box. So I'll use that as a reference sheet for telling you what's all in here. But this is, like I said, it's the subscription box. I like to just kind of like pull out the tissue like that so that way I can <laughs> be able to reuse it. Um, and we're just gonna like maybe start, let's just start from the top, okay. I'm pulling it to the side a little bit so that way I can get to it. Okay, so in this little, packet of goodies. It looks like there's some journaling cards. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so it has journaling cards. Let's see. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? <laughs> it's like a black cat. Um, and then this one says, I put a spell on you. And look at that. That's so cute. I don't, you can orient it, I guess. Um, okay, so I would orient it maybe like this because it looks like a crescent moon with floor, like leaves coming out of it. So that's super cute. They are blank on the other side. So you can use it to like stick into like a, I think these are three by three or maybe two by two, two by two cards. So you can stick them into a two by two pocket or you can just kind of like, for me, I would probably punch them or you can use these as like decor on your pockets if you use a pocket cover or like a planner cover. All right, so you get three journaling cards. They're called quote cards on the, um, on the little tour card right then you end up with or you have three black paper clips this is also the same size um not that you would use black paper clips as like a quote card but it's super cute it's the same two by two size and you get three super large paper clips these are awesome and i'm definitely using this in my holiday planner because i was actually looking for some paper clips and these will be perfect for that Right? Then you also get a page corner bookmark. Uh, so this is super cool. This is like, you can see it kind of has this opening right here and you just tuck it right into the corner. You can tuck it in any direction basically, but it's a heart shape and you just use it to mark which page you're on. So that's super cute. I love that. Right, And then you do get some washi, okay? I'm always bad at, about unrolling washi. So let's see if I can do this. All right, and it looks kind of like a, like tree limbs, tree branches kind of pattern, if I can find the start. Okay, here it is. So it's kind of like a spooky, like, tree branches vibe. Oh my gosh, I just ripped it. Okay, but that's good enough. All right, so that's what it looks like. I am terrible, you can see, <laughs> at unrolling washi. Um, so that is there, I love that. Maybe I shouldn't put it right on screen. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to go to some of these packets right here. So this very first one looks like the dashboards. All right, so open it up. I did, um, when I restarted the subscription, I did get it in classic size just because I'm moving back into classic size. I wanna be able to have it for my happy planner. Um, and so the very first one is like kind of like a smaller dashboard. Um, it's called a tip in dashboard. And it says, beware for I'm fearless and therefore powerful, Mary Shelley Frankenstein. And it is black cardstock, so that's awesome. And then you get um, one vellum dashboard. So that's this one, look at that, oh my gosh. These bats are gorgeous, I love that. Okay, so that's again, definitely going, all of this is probably gonna end up in my um, Halloween planner for at least this year, and then I'll just save it for next year. All right, so this dashboard is um, 
it's called Spooky Woods on the tour card. Um, it's a decorative dashboard. You can see what it looks like. That's so cute, right? And it's double-sided, so you can see that. I love that. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so this looks like kind of like a um, a sleepy hollow, like just kind of like a page from a book. I think that's really cool. I would actually want to like, this is really weird, but like, you know, I enjoy junk journaling in the sense of like I'm bad at it, but I enjoy it. And I would love to have like some coffee stains on here. That would be so cute. All right, so it's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I'm not going to read it to you, but it just looks like a, a page from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And on the back, it's a fall reading list. Oh, that's so cute. Books are a uniquely portable magic and it gives you a list of 13. Okay, that is awesome. And I think I will try to read these books. All right, I'm gonna again, put that into my Halloween planner and make it my way through that list. Okay, so this one says, I am out with lanterns looking for myself, Emily Dickinson. And again, this is just a really nice high quality cardstock. And that's what it looks like on the back. Oh my gosh, that entire vibe, I love it. It's just dark, moody. I just love the whole thing. All right, the dashboards are amazing. I love that. Okay, so then this one is going to be, let's just open it up and see. I'm not quite sure what's in here. It looks like more dashboards, actually. Okay, so, yeah, because this, you can see through, so it looks like more, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so yes, there are more dashboards here. This one says chapter 10, October 2022, and then it gives you like two of the major holidays here, Indigenous Peoples Day and Halloween. All right, so there's another dashboard that's an extra okay and then here is november all right chapter 11 again it's vellum all right and it gives you again some of the major events happening um and these are american holidays right so it's daylight savings time uh veterans day and thanksgiving that's awesome these will be stuck into my hol holiday planner for sure <laughs> that's awesome so cute all right so chapter 12 december 2022 winter solstice and christmas all right and then here let's see what this is this says a goal is a personal promise to your future self. Okay, that's awesome, All right? Send. And then it has right here quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So I guess you can use it as a quarterly goal planner is what I'm guessing. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I think it's actually going to be a quarter four planning because that's what it says on the quote card. It says special edition planner insert. All right, so let's see what it looks like. When you open it up, you get month one, month two, month three, and then it has important dates that you list on the side, and you can put whatever month right next to it. Um, so if you're using it for the first quarter or the second quarter, whatever quarter you decide to use it for, you can just kind of like list it in there. Um, it looks like kind of a smaller like calendar um, where you could just put the numbers and kind of mark off important dates. So that's cool. And then if you look all the way across, you have month one goals, month two goals, and month three goals and then right here is project event or idea and it's just a long to-do list you can mark the start date and the deadline so that's really cool and you get it for three months so it's four quarter um three months of a year all right and then on the back is just graph paper then this one says focus on the step in front of you not the whole staircase that is really good i like that oh and then you get it repeated okay so you can get that for basically quarter two. Oh, and this says the distance between dreams and reality is called action and again it repeats and then this one is the fourth one quarter four if you talk about it it's a dream if you envision it it's possible but if you schedule it it's real tony robbins okay so that's awesome you basically get it for the entire um 12 month period so you get it for a full year and you know this would really work well as like a future log so if you wanted just to track important like future events and also of course like have projects and ideas and things like that but it's just a really nice place to track some of the like future like events for 2023 or 2024 that's awesome okay so i love that All right and then in the back here you get like some project pages so it's project start date deadline goals budget objectives purpose which is why the description which is what details which are how and then other ideas and it does say janesagenda.com at the bottom you get that as the front page and then it repeats itself right here um from this side but then it changes a little bit to where you just have a long running to-do list it says who i guess who is assigned to task again who like for each of the tasks the start date and then the deadline and then you have like kind of like a gantt chart where you can mark down the phases and which phase each task kind of lives in so that's really cool then you have dot grid a dot grid page and then it's a project debrief so i guess when you wrap up you can um just kind of debrief or like reflect on the project itself what were some of the opportunities the wins and notes related to that project and then it looks like it repeats so you get 
two, three, four, five. Five of the like kind of four page um, project sheets. So that is really awesome. That's a super generous kind of like stack of paper. So I love that. I'm running out of room here. So let me move it on this side. All right, this, this box is coming with, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so this next one, again, I got my subscription box in classic size to fit the Happy Planner Classic. Um, so this one says notes, right? And it's the quad list pages version. Um, I'm assuming Jane's Agenda does have several different versions of it, but this is in classic size. And so it's the, that's the size listing for it, right? And so this is usually just like, a, like the cover um, for it so that way you know what it is. Okay, and then it's the quad list. Okay, yeah, so you can basically categorize into these four categories. You can list the category up top and then just write your to-do list for each of the categories. And it just repeats itself. And there are, it looks like six sheets. And that is, it's double-sided. So six sheets of double-sided. Again, that is amazing. I am a functional planner, so I'm definitely gonna be using that. I'm super excited about all of this. Oh my gosh, like, I love Jane's Agenda. I don't know why I got out of like, not getting it because I just love everything so far. Okay, and then here again, like I just find that Jane's agenda just packs it full of stuff. Okay, and so this is actually a um, like a dashboard of sticky notes, and look at the colors on these things, right? So it is like all of like the fall colors. I love that. Um, you can use it obviously as sticky notes because they are sticky notes, but you can use it to layer things. Um, like if you want to put stickers on top of it, that would be really beautiful. I love that, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to see. Yeah, it says that um, it's a sticky note palette and it's the autumn tones version. I don't know if they're gonna be releasing any of these items on the website. Uh, sometimes, you know, with the subscription boxes, these are just specific to the subscription box, but yeah. All right, and then the last item in here is a Corroy pouch. I have so many pouches, so this is probably my least favorite item just because I have so many pouches. Um, but this is a nice corduroy material. I love it. Um, I love feeling it. It's just really nice, All right? And it's just a nice deep pocket. It looks like, yeah, it's like kind of like cloth on the inside. I assume, I don't wear corduroy, so I don't really know, but I think you could, it's probably machine washable, and it does have the Jane's Agenda logo in the corner, right? So again, this was like packed full, I love it, right? So it had the corduroy pouch, it had the sticky note palette, it had the paper clips, which I'm definitely using, the washi and the page bookmark, and then it had um, three journal cards, which are these items right here. Then in addition to that, it had the quad list pages. These are unreleased, um, and so it could be that they release it in the future, but it could be just special edition to the subscription box. And then here we had like the, the planner insert that included quarter four planning, as well as the, what I considering kind of like quarter or like a yearly kind of future log, um, as well as the project pages right there. Then you ended up with four vellum dashboards, which is amazing the tip-in dashboard, and then three cardstock dashboards. So hopefully all of that's on screen, but that's what you ended up getting for this October subscription box. I love, love the vibe of this box. So I'm definitely going to continue my subscription for Jane's Agenda. I just think it's so beautiful what Jane sends in her package um, for her subscription box. Um, and so I'm going to be adding some of this into my holiday planner. Some of it will be saved until 2023, but I look forward to using just about everything in here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.